Hey girls, Jamie here. So a lot of you have been requesting more duct tape crafts, which totally brings me back to when Britt and I made some DIY duct tape jewelry. Can you believe that was over two years ago? I think we're definitely ready for another stylish duct tape craft. Get ready as I show you how to make your own duct tape tote bag. Let's do it, girl. Okay, so for this craft, you're going to need several rolls of duct tape. You really only need one roll total to make your tote, but if you wanna fashion it up in different colors and patterns like me, you're going to need between three to six rolls. You're also going to need a ruler and writing utensil, scissors, a cutting tool and cutting mat, and a plastic bag. All right, let's tape it away. <laughs> Step one. The first step is to figure out how big you want your tote to be and then to mark those dimensions onto your plastic bag. I want my tote to be the same size as the DIY Valentine's Day tote that I did a while ago, which is about 12 inches by 10 inches. Now you're going to be folding your plastic bag in half in order to create the front side and the back side. And since I want my tote to be 12 inches tall, that means I'm going to need this side to be 12 inches and this side to be 12 inches. Since we're folding it in half, that means I need a length on my plastic bag that's 24 inches. Make sure to add three more inches to give yourself material to make a flat bottom for your bag later. This will bring your final length to 27 inches. For the width of the bag, I just tacked on a few extra inches from 10 to 12 in order to account for any measuring errors. All this is to say, for a 12 by 10 inch tote, my starting measurements were 27 inches by 12 inches. No matter the size of your dimensions, mark them evenly onto your plastic bag and then cut it to size using your scissors or cutting tool. The next step is to cover your plastic bag with your duct tape. Keep in mind that after you fold your plastic bag together, the ends of your bag will form the top of your tote and the middle of your bag will form the bottom of your tote. I'll place my tape horizontally, switching off between a few different designs. You can attach your duct tape in any direction that you like actually, whether you go vertically or in zigzags or using different widths of duct tape. And I think a really fun idea would be to follow my DIY phone case from a couple weeks weeks ago. That way all you have to do is make a shape or a monogram to put on top of your strips that will really make your tote stand out. Once your bag is completely covered, flip it over and trim away any extra duct tape from both sides. Now I suppose that the plastic bag will work well as an inside lining all by itself, but mine has a store logo and marker measurings all over it. So if you're like me, go ahead and lay down even more duct tape on the remaining plastic with a new fun color or pattern. This way you can make sure to match the inside of your tote to its outside. Once again, when finished, flip over your bag and trim away the extra duct tape material. Now this horizontal way of taping makes a nice and simple design on your tote. But I'm totes ready to dive into some more complicated stuff with you. So if your tote's up for it, let me show you how to make a really cool checkerboard pattern. On your cutting board, lay down several strips of duct tape vertically with the edges touching but not overlapping. Use your ruler or the grid pattern on your board to keep your strips evenly aligned. I created the same measurements as I did in step one, taping strips 27 inches long side by side until the entire section measured 12 inches wide. Once everything is lined up, use your cutting tool to split each strip in half vertically down the middle. When finished, choose a second color, place it anywhere on your cutting board, and cut that one in half too. Take a piece and place it horizontally at the top of your strip. Then carefully peel up every other vertical strip over your horizontal strip, creasing them slightly to keep them in place before taking the other horizontal strip and placing it right below your first strip. Pull those vertical strips right back down over the horizontal strip to begin your weaving pattern. Make sure to keep your weaving pattern straight, otherwise your checkerboard pattern might be a little wonky at the end. Now you'll switch your vertical strips, still bringing up every other one before placing down a new horizontal strip. Again, bring down the vertical strips to continue your weaving pattern. All that's left to do is continue this technique, bringing up every other strip, laying down a horizontal strip, and then bringing down your vertical strips accordingly. Keep going until your checkerboard pattern matches the size of your tote dimensions. At that point, you'll lock your pieces into place by bordering them with more duct tape. Cut off all the extra material with your cutting tool and your checkerboard pattern is complete. Turn your checkerboard sticky side up and place down some colorful duct tape that will decorate the inside of your bag. Again, cut away the leftovers and your basic tote template is ready to go. Woohoo, way to construct your duct. Tape. 
Honestly, that was the hardest part. So from here on out, it is smooth sailing. The next step is to bring the tote together by outlining the sides with your duct tape. Fold your bag in half to create the front and back of the tote. Choose a matching color of duct tape and place half of it down the front side of your bag before folding the other half around to the back of your bag. Trim off the extra tape from the top and the bottom. Repeat the same tape and trim technique on the other side and now you have a functional duct tape pouch. In order to give your tote even more space to carry items than it does now, let's create a flat bottom. Open up your bag as much as you can and then, from the outside, push in the point from the bottom corner with your finger until it pops up on the inside bottom of your bag. Then flatten both the side and bottom of your bag back towards that corner until you're left with a horizontal slit that you can pinch together. Repeat with the other corner of the bag. Once you've gotten the tote to fold into a flat bottom, you can lock everything in place by taking taping the corners on the inside of your bag or by taping across the horizontal slits on the outside of the bag. Or if you're like me, do both. Yay for going the extra mile. To finish off the tote's shape and style, all that's left to do is tape a border along the top of your bag. Take a strip of duct tape and fold half of it over the outside edge before sticking the other half down on the inside edge. Be sure to fold out any taping wrinkles, but don't worry about it if your strips aren't perfect. You won't really notice once you've added in your handles, which is step seven which is right now. Cut out a piece of tape about a foot and a half long. Fold it in half lengthwise, sticky side to sticky side. Bend it into an arc and tape both ends into place at the inside front of your bag. Repeat this step to attach a second handle to the back of your bag. And here's what it looks like with the handles attached. Now if you wanted to transform your tote into a satchel, then you can follow the other video that Britt and I did in order to show you how to make a duct tape braided bracelet. All you have to do is make that braid super long and then attach it from the left side of your bag to your right in order to have one strap that you can easily throw over your shoulder. And if you wanted to add even more pizzazz to your bag, then you could follow my duct tape flower tutorial. That way you can attach a butt or two onto your tote for some additional flair. This has got to be one of my most favorite crafts this year. You can make it any size you like, any color you like, and for any reason you like. It's 100% waterproof for pool days and it makes the perfect way to pack a party gift or a party favor. And if you wanted something just a little bit smaller to carry with you, then you could always follow the folding techniques that I showed you in my DIY purse tutorial. That way you can make a simply adorable duct tape clutch to carry around with you all summer long. There are just so many ways to make this duct tape tote. It's like there's no way to duck duck lose. You know, like duck duck goose, but with, never mind. How did you make your duct tape tote? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com. For more tutorials just like these one, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Word to the wise, don't ever do your nails before doing a duct tape DIY, or you will end up in such a sticky situation. <laughs> No, but seriously, these look awful now. What's that department store bag? You want me to reuse or recycle this? <laughs> All right.